Whether you're a photographer, a videographer, or both, the more you get into it, the more images and videos you're going to be collecting and processing. It is really easy to let all of this data get on top of you and have it stored all over the place. Have SD cards full of images yet to be processed and basically lose control over where your images are, what you need to process, and whether or not you have backed any of them up. And this happened to me recently. Life just got really busy really quickly. And all of a sudden, all of my drives were full. I'd sold my main computer, so I'd lost around about eight terabytes of storage, and all of my SD cards were full as well. And it's not a great place to be. In reality, sooner or later, this will happen to all of us to a certain degree, even the professionals. But if you let it go on for too long, it's gonna put you off taking photos and filming. And it can seem like such an insurmountable challenge to get all of those photos or videos back in order. So this is what I've been doing all weekend, getting all of my photos and all of my videos to where they should be stored. And it feels good to be back on top of it all again. I bought some new hard drives, filed everything where I can find it easily, and I was even able to process some images I took just last week when my wife and I went on a boat trip with some friends through one of the suburbs of Bangkok. And now with my memory card case full of empty SD cards ready to go, I really do feel like I want to go out and shoot again and my photo mojo is definitely back on track. I didn't even realize that this was one of the things that was affecting my passion for photography, but deep down it really was. So if you're not feeling it, if your motivation is low, or you're lacking the will and drive to go out and take some photos, have a look at what you have to edit. Have a look what free storage you have, if any, and ask yourself, is this slowing me down? Or is this a secret barrier that's stopping me from shooting more photos? If so, maybe it's time for a day of housekeeping. So order yourself some more hard drives, crack open a beer and just start working through them. And before you know it, it'll all be back to normal again. I definitely feel so much better knowing I have some new hard drives and all of my SD cards are formatted and ready to go. I've got plenty of space for the photos I'm yet to take. And my passion is kind of building and I really want to go out and take some photos to kind of almost fill that space. Now, have you been letting your photo storage chaos get on top of you? Or are you meticulous in getting everything backed up and processed quickly and efficiently? Either way, let me know in the comments below. It'll be great to know how you guys are dealing with the ever increasing amounts of terabytes, gigabytes, megabytes, however many bytes we need for our hobbies and professions. And if you like this video, click on this one next. Or if you just want to binge watch a whole playlist of tutorials, click down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography and videography. I'll see you next time.